Things we all hated as kids. Now during childhood, there are things that you love and things that you hate. Things that you love can include Pokemon cards, cartoons, and eating cake for breakfast. While things you hate can be homework, vegetables, and going to bed early. So with anger on my mind and a desire for nostalgia, I thought why not make a video on this topic. So sit back, pull out some Scooby snacks, and join me as we look at things we all hated as kids. Alright, the first thing on our list is going to be vegetables. Now, keeping it 100% real here, I honestly liked vegetables as a kid, and I still do. I'm not sure if it's because my parents knew how to actually cook them, you know, by incorporating them into dishes, instead of just boiling them in water with salt and pepper, or because I thought they were colorful. If you don't like warm vegetables, well, you're in luck because you don't even need to cook them. Like, have you ever dipped a raw baby carrot in ranch dressing? It's immaculate! It, it's amazing! But why? Why is everyone so mean? mean to broccoli. Broccoli can't even catch a break if it's cooked or completely hidden in a dish. The only thing it has going for it is the fact that it looks like little trees, and yet people still hate on it. Like, the only bad thing I can think about broccoli is that it makes your fart smell bad. Like, like really bad, trust me. Don't ever Dutch oven yourself. Like, if I'm sitting outside on a hot summer day, I'm sorry, but the last thing I want is cheddar jalapeno chips. I would much rather go for the cold, crisp vegetables and dip. Not only do they taste fire, but have you no idea how beneficial they are for your health? According to Google.com, a diet with vegetables and fruit can lower blood pressure, reduce the risk of heart disease, stroke, and even some types of cancer. There's just no reason to hate on them. You guys, I'm sorry, I'm taking vegetables side on here. Vegetables, easy, 11 out of 10, no questions asked. All right, next up on the list, we got homework. Now let's be real, is homework something that literally any kid liked? Even the smart kids hated homework. I just don't think it makes any sense. Like, hear me out. You're telling me I have to go to school for eight hours, five days a week. Literally the hours of a nine to five. But then, once I get home, I have to continue doing that? Like, for real. If school is not a place for sleep, home is not a place for work. I'm not even getting paid for it. Like, they've been giving me overtime since the age of, like, eight. When I get home from school, the first thing I want to do is kick my feet up and turn on Cartoon Network, not work on algebra. So, I just didn't do my homework. So then whenever the teacher would ask, hey, where's your homework? I would say, I left it at home. Which is true. I did leave it at home. Just not filled out. Homework was so garbage, dude. This is gonna be a one out of ten. This is so bad. All right, bro, next thing on the list is going to be girls. Now, as a little eight-year-old boy, I despised girls. But then something in my brain suddenly switched. But when we were kids, boys and girls, we hated each other. Like, no one could stand being next to each other. Guys literally treated girls as if they had some disease called cooties. Are cooties still a disease? Because that was like the cheese touch on steroids. But the older I got, I say, I, I started to appreciate them a little more. Not even going to give this a ranking. All right, next thing on the list is going to be coffee. Now, when I was a kid, I remember tasting my parents' coffee and always thinking, bro, this shit is just straight ass. Like, for real, I just thought it was water straight out of the African Nile River, because that was just straight garbage. Now, literally every kid says the same thing about coffee. Oh, it tastes like bitter black water. Um, okay, first off, why are you drinking black coffee? Nobody I know under the age of 45 drinks black coffee. And number two, one thing I learned is the quality of the beans really matter. Like, I'm sorry. If it's gonna be like Starbucks coffee over Dunkin' Donuts coffee, I don't care if it's more expensive. I'm always gonna pick Starbucks coffee because let's all stop lying to ourselves. Dunkin' Donuts coffee is straight buns. Like, I honestly don't care if it's only like two or three bucks. I'm still not paying for that. I'd rather drink out of a puddle in the New York subway system. Coffee nowadays, though. I'm not gonna say I'm addicted, because I really don't think I am. And I don't think that's me being in denial. Like, sure, I enjoy it. But honestly, like, I could easily go weeks without it. But I know people who literally can't go a day without it. And you can tell because they're all grumbly and they're unhappy for the entire day. Personally, every now and then I drink coffee in the morning, but it's definitely not an everyday thing because bro, it's so expensive. But it also really messes up your sleep schedule if you have it past like 11 a.m. Coffee is getting a seven out of 10. I like it, I like it now. All right, next thing on the list is going to be taking a bath or a shower. As a kid, personally, I hated having to take a bath. I have no idea why, but it seems that it's just our arch nemesis. Like, I avoided taking a bath or taking a shower as much as I could. That being said, though, that doesn't mean that I didn't do it. Because there was always that one stinky dude in school 
where instead of taking a bath, this dude would drench himself in Axe body spray. Like, bro, come on, it doesn't work. Like you're covering up the smell of must with even more must, only to create an odor that is just so, so uniquely disgusting. Nowadays, though, nothing hits better than doing a face mask and taking a bath. Now, I know some of you may call me zesty in the comments for doing a face mask, but guys, I'm telling you, don't knock it until you try it. Imagine you get home and it's about to be the weekend and you just had a long day at work. You're telling me you're not going to take a shower or a bath? You want to smell like your cubicle for the rest of the weekend? Like, nah, bro, don't lie. If I was a kid, I would rank this a lot lower, but now that I'm and I can truly appreciate the small things in life, taking a shower and a bath 10 out of 10. Alright, next up on the list is going to be reading. Now, as a kid, I didn't read often. Really, the only things I would read were like comic books like Garfield and Calvin and Hobbes, which now thinking back on it isn't even reading because it's mostly just pictures. When I was like eight or nine years old, my mom tried so hard to get me to read the Harry Potter books, and she eventually told me I wasn't allowed to watch the rest of the movies until I read the books. And since I had only seen the first two movies, I obviously really wanted to see the third one, so I started reading the third one and i kid you not i did not finish that book until i was like 11 or 12 years old that is how much i hated reading i'm not sure if it's just because my attention span was garbage or if it's just that i didn't care and it's not like i could have just lied to my mom and say yeah i read the book because she would quiz me on the most random details of the books it was insane like if in the book it said which way harry potter wiped after he just took a she definitely would have asked, and I would have had to answer it very specifically. Even nowadays, I don't really like reading. I mean, I read sometimes, but I'm really trying to get back into it. And I've gotten a couple books to start reading, all thanks to my dad, and honestly, Loney too. Shout out Loney. Right now, reading is a 6 out of 10. Final thing on the list is going to be sleep. I'm not sure why, but kids seem to have a relentless hatred towards sleep. And I think it's because kids have no responsibility, pretty much. But the older I got, it was around halfway through middle school where I realized I had been taking sleep for granted. Because in a sense, sleep is an escape for reality. That sounds a lot darker than I wanted it to sound. But come on, bro, you gotta know what I mean. It's not just sleep, though. It's also just laying in your bed and doing literally nothing. Like, bro, coming home from an eight-hour shift and then sitting on your bed and and taking off your gross work socks. Oh my god, that is awesome. The older I got, the more I appreciated it. Sleep, easy 10 out of 10. Thank you so much for watching, and to all of my lovely subscribers, Shadow Boom, Wizard Money Boom, Gang, Boom, you know, I'd be swinging Boom, that thing all Boom, over the place. Boom, Spiritual, Boom, lyrical, Boom, miracle, Boom, individual. Spitting my bars. Boom, I don't have a license to drive a car. Boom, what is wrong with me? Oh god. Why do I even try?